When I was in high school, like big thing was like the boy where you're like, bruh. I was more of a whip and nene type of guy. So. Yeah, you yes. were. Yes, childhood trend. Someone clicks on it, dude. I was more of a whip. And <laughs> <type of guy>. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I formed a friend group like over the summer just to play Pokemon Go. I'd stay at my friend's house. See, my friend's mom was an interior designer. So not only was it a nice house, but there's also iPads like in the walls. We might have been committing a Pokemon Go crime, but we set up this map and it showed you where all the nearby Pokemon were. And we set it up so a literal alarm would go up on the speakers throughout the house. If like a rare Pokemon, like a Snorlax or a Dragonite showed up near what? us. And all it's of like a sudden, a yeah, literally, that's what we set it to. It was like 3 a.m. and we just hear like, <laughs> and one There's of us a gets up. somewhere! Yeah, yeah, one of us gets up, he rushes over, he looks at the iPad, and he's like, It's a Dragonite! It's at the park! It's like four blocks away! So we're biking, we're biking the sketchy park, we get there, we're trying to catch it. I throw my normal red Pokeball. It doesn't work. I throw the Premier Ball, it doesn't work. I skip Great Ball, we go straight to Ultra Ball. <laughs> And that thing ran away. None of us caught it. No way! Did anyone get like reprimanded for having a fidget spinner? I just remember like when you'd like be spinning one, like the teacher would like turn around like really quickly and be like, Hey! Put that away! Like Luke's on his phone. Luke's not interested in his own video. He's on his phone. Sorry, I was looking for a photo. <laughs> hey guys, can you record this video? <laughs> yeah. You can get banned for fidget spinners. Personally, I got banned for water bottle flipping, okay? I, I would bring a little mist a mini water bottle and I would flip it every time. You know, flocks of women around me, right? But eventually, you know. <laughs> Wait, I missed the last fuck. You said <laughs> that again? Why are you laughing like that? So you're like <laughs> 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 Eventually, he picked my water bottle up, he threw it in the trash all dramatically, and I got embarrassed in front of the whole class. So it, it came biting in my back a little bit, you know? You know? Wait, can you think you like, can land that? Yeah, like, for sure. I was gonna... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dabbing was banned at my was school. Cool? No, it was yeah, not. Yeah, dabbing not and, and also movement. just roasting. It was an assembly. So I thought like something bad happened, like someone vaped in the bathroom or something. But then the guy was like, guys, we can't have any of the dabbing, any of the your mom jokes, none of the roasting, guys. <laughs> he oh, literally boy, did it in that joke. order. I was in a store yesterday and they had those like swag glasses, like, you know, like yeah. the pixel ones. Oh. I put them on. And this dude across the store goes, Ah, dude, you just play Minecraft? You just got back from the nether. And I just <laughs> like, <laughs> like, everyone I was with was like, <laughs> That is awesome. Did you guys ever have kendamas at your school? What? <laughs> Look, I bought one. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is, Mitch. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> He's crazy. You were not cool unless, like, you were gathered around in a little circle. And everybody just watched you go, Oh. <laughs> there were yeah. ones that were like this big that people bought and took Why to school. Why is it called And then that? like the teachers got mad because they're like, dude, you just have a hammer. You brought a hammer to school, dude. The biggest thing ever was having a DS when you were young. One time my uh, my friends like parents were having like a party and there was this one kid that was like widely known as like a technology freak. And he was just like <laughs> about like technology because he just didn't have it. He's like a technology freak. That's how he was. Yeah. <laughs> he goes up to you at a party and goes <laughs> like a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I had my DS over at my friend's house. And he was like, how about your DS? And I was like, no, dude, you cannot play it. Like, go away. Like, I don't want you to break it. Whatever. Later on in the night, we're like all in the basement. And dude made a fort. And he's under the fort playing with my DS. And then my friend walks over it to it. And he's like, that's Nathan's DS. And he's like, eh. doesn't give it back. <laughs> my friend grabs on like the top part of the DS. And they're both like, nah, give it back. Give it. <laughs> they ripped it in half. Oh. And I was like, oh my God. I freaked out and I go upstairs to the guy's dad and I go, this cost my dad a hundred dollars. You owe me a hundred dollars. And he goes, I'm really sorry that he broke your toy. <laughs> and I was like, and, and he never like, bro, like, you guys do Pokemon cards? Oh uh, yeah, we did Pokemon cards. We never played the game. Dude, I had like a binder. The more cards you had, like the more popular that you had, were. Uh, my school had hockey cards. Wow, wow. Oh! Oh, there's this one kid who showed up with like a locked like vault, like a case. With, uh, that he put his cards in. He'd have to be like, yeah, you guys want to trade any of my cards? Let me, uh, let me show you a few. And this one day, he shows up to school with like a plastic bag and a big rectangle in it. But a big 
like thin like card shaped rectangle you know like the rectangles that the cards look like so people were actually like super serious about it like yeah like, and I, I had to figure out what was in that bag so the next day i brought my whole binder to school we're sitting at the bench at recess and i set it on the table i just told him just like pick a card i want what's in the bag and you know what he picked he picked my full art like restaurant no way yeah no way <laughs> what the heck is that? I don't know. <laughs> so, like, we traded and I got the massive Fuller Metagross, but it was worth nothing. I'm still pissed off about it because, like, I didn't know people cared that much about the value. It was just a big card. Like, I thought they just cared about the size of it, you know? <laughs> so, those, those big cards, like, the thing is, they always come in, like, they come in, like, a pack. So, like, everybody gets the same card if you just buy the pack. It's no, like, spreading. my friend's little brother was like, check this out. It's a giant gold Pokemon card. I was yeah. like, what is happening? Yeah, that's right literally now? what I had. And I remember trying to trade it to this, this one guy on the bus ride home for one of his like actually rare cards. He was like, dude, that's just like a big normal card. That's like too big. Why'd I want that? I can't put that in my binder. <laughs> when I was in first grade, the biggest thing in first grade was like Pop Tropica. Oh, yes. Ooh, yeah. Yes, dude. Pop we didn't Tropica, get, man. Ugh. The I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bye. Ooh. In 2008, I was like, bro, Pop Tropica is so cool. You got to get it. They have Dire Wimpy Kid World and Big Day World. <laughs> <laughs> big Nate World. Well, when I was in high school, like, the big thing was, like, the boy. We were like, bruh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Right. That just reminded me, like, when we were, like, playing, like, tag in school. Like, you guys do, like, zombie tag where it's, like... Oh, yeah, zombie tag, aren't. yeah. yeah. <laughs> zombie tag. Okay. Yeah, dude. Just say tag. it, right. You guys are mean to me! Cut it out! <laughs> we would do a thing where, like, to show if you're not it, they'd be like, dab if you're not it! And if you're a zombie, I'd be like, no, I can't. And like, if you're not it, you'd go like, oh, dude, come on, I'm good, man. I did the dab, man. They did it. That's like, like, that is so bad. That's the most 2017. That's like, so <laughs> awesome. Dude, dab if you're not it! Okay, we're safe. I bet everyone here played Club Penguin, though, right? I've never played Club Penguin in my life. I never did. I love Club Penguin. Aww. I was, like, so good. I had, like, a really awesome igloo, and I have all the puffles, and I also spend a lot of time playing with my neighbor so much time that I once saw his password. I'm chilling in my igloo, <laughs> and I have the thought, what if I log into his account? So I log into his account, and all of a sudden, this I'm was him. Clearly already tuned out. Did you intentionally I'm do at that? Him. <laughs> no. What's the worst thing I could do on Club Penguin? So I'm pondering, right? Like I'm thinking, like. Hmm. And what comes to mind is saying a swear word. What? Yeah. Wait, my hands oh my are God. like shaking. Oh I'm God. sweating. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you know. And I'm like yeah. F U C. Okay. <laughs> In that moment, I think of our friendship up until this point, <laughs> but in the end, I press the enter button and he was banned for seven days. A few days later at the bus stop, he, he brings up, he's like, so for some reason, I'm like logged out on my Club Penguin account for like the next five days. I don't really know why. I'm like, oh, that's weird. I why does everyone that you know in real life talk like that? <laughs> Dude, you haven't been to my town. Trust me, they're all like that. <laughs> Luke's the only outlier. Wait, can you like sing your stories, Swoosh? Yeah, I'm gonna sing my stories. <laughs> okay. One day. I'm gonna not do this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was in fourth grade when Gangnam Style came out, and like I thought me and my brother were the coolest people ever because we like brought it to our little private school. We were like, guys, see that cool video? <laughs> don't, don't put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> so that. That's going in. <laughs> oh, God. When did you guys get into Minecraft? 2012. 2011. 2014, when my friend showed me Minecraft Lite on his iPad. I would follow the Minecraft updates on the Minecraft Wiki. I remember when 0.3.0 came out on Minecraft Pocket Edition, they added crafting. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, I kind of need that. You guys want to see my drowning mob trap? Let's play. They didn't have buckets, so I had to use a river. I got really good at Look at design. how high quality it is. Dude, the so. frame rate is like two. Dude, I was a crafty player, though. You see this drowning mob trap? No um, buckets, no anything? I was a crafty player. You gotta give me that. It's because they I don't think they had buckets so. in PE yet. They didn't! I built a pool in Minecraft PE without a bucket by building my house over a lake, and I thought it was a fucking genius. Wow. <laughs> like, I had it all figured out. In like eighth grade, uh, I went on a DC trip with my whole school, right? Did anyone else do that? No. Yeah. Yeah, man. I went all the way from Canada to DC. Okay. <laughs> God bless the USA. Uh, duh. It costs $1,400 a student. <laughs>
Everyone had a fidget spinner on that trip, playing with it on the bus, except for me. And I was pissed, and I wanted to get one. So I look at the one kid that I'd be able to steal a fidget spinner from, and it's the Australian kid that moved here this year. You're a bully. I know. I was having a blast with this fidget spinner and, like, spinning it and stuff, as you do. But then I realized, like, after a day that he didn't like me anymore. So I gave it back to him. That's the best story I've ever heard in my life. Oh! I remember how I rekindled our friendship that we didn't have. Do you guys remember those, like, clout goggles things? You traded a fidget spinner for clout Literally. goggles? That's the worst <laughs> trade That's ever, awesome. dude. So on the last day of the trip, we all went to this mall that um, had these clout goggles, and literally everyone in the grade bought them. And I bought one for him. And he was like, how do, how do the so Australians sweet. talk? He was like, Blimey, mate. Thank you. Or something like that. You're... <laughs> was, was that good? <laughs> Wait. What? I was my Minecraft skin for Halloween one year. I was YouTube for Halloween one. <laughs> <laughs> you were YouTube? I remember I spray painted this box in my garage and the fumes made me so <laughs> nauseous. <laughs> and then I put it on my head. Do you just like walk around like this then? It's a villager. <laughs> Trick or treat! Did you ever like grow up when you were like 14 or 15 and just be into like every popular animator for like an entire school year? Like there was like yep. the Odd Ones Out school year or like the Domic school year, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it wasn't even like good ones, it would be like the like the weird yeah. ones that lasted for like three months. Like who? Like do you, do you remember that one about like the guy who got like kidnapped or something? He made one video that never made another Yeah! Oh, it was like the ocean. <laughs> oh my like, gosh! I know that guy! Yeah. Style, dude. I mean, no, I'm a bit older. Dude, back up from the camera, man. <laughs> Okay, give, it, give it some You say get closer? So. Uh, when I was in fourth grade in 2012, the big thing was silly bands. The more silly bands you had, the cooler you were. Yep. Did you have those? Real. That, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, like yeah. The yeah. Wait, wait, silly wait, wait, bands. Wait, 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 I had wait. a goat one and a seal. Do you guys want to see the DC photos? Here's a big group photo. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, who is this guy, right? Who, who is this guy? Oh. He has lore. He has lore. Dude, he has Gosh. lore. Who is this guy on the far left with the really wide stance for no reason? <laughs> no, he's the main character. I remember in 2018, I was in seventh grade. I just posted my first video, which was a school project, and it killed. And I was like, dude, it's time to kickstart my career. I'm hitting up the big names. So I sent out emails to all my favorite animators, and none of them replied except yeah. one, which was Ginger Pale, dude. And I went yes. to school the next day and I was like, guys, Ginger Pale is going to be in my video. And they were like, who the fuck is Ginger <laughs> 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 I think I emailed Swoosh, but he like, never dude, responded. He has like 500,000 really? subs, but they did not care.